everyone. Today the bookworms are going to be reading Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Let's get into the book. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I've just built a nest and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs in it. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia has laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis has laid her eggs, and I've stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... A stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe had laid her eggs along my belly. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel very proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs. The eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a great job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled out of Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to get back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you. But now... You are ready to be on your own. The end.
that's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!